I don't have a full understanding of the theory. Just out of curiosity, uh, I heard you broke your hand uh, one time because of sparring with your brother. Yes, He's I did. He's a boxer? He is a boxer. He is a fighter. Um, yeah, I accidentally uh, uppercut him and caught him in the elbow. No gloves. So. Uh, Do you yeah. practice martial arts yourself? No, no, no. No, <laughs> no I, I definitely don't. Uh, yeah, it was just. It was just something for, you know, we hadn't seen each other in a long time, and as brothers do, we fool around, and, uh, you know, one, thing's le one thing led to another, and I broke my hand. Was it always, when you were younger, you were sort of the artist, and he was the fighter or the sports guy? Uh -huh. um, maybe. I mean, I, I played sport, a fair share of sports growing up as well. Um, I think it was just, you know, you know, around the, you know, sometime in my adolescence, I just, I guess my, uh, my focus changed, really. Um, and my desire to play, I just, sports anyway, just kind of went away and, and uh, yeah. What did you practice when you were young? In terms of sports? Yeah. Uh, baseball. American, you know, okay. it's a catcher, pitcher, first baseman, maybe a little bit of outfield. But. Okay. And yeah, was there already, at that point where you started, your focus changed, were you already playing a lot of guitar then? Or? Um, a little bit. Like I knew, uh, you know, you know, I knew that that was going to be my focus, and I did try out for some sports, played a little American football, um, but I knew that, that this is what I wanted to do, and I didn't want to hamper that. Um, you know, it was very important to me, you know, music and just the form of expression, that, uh, that it just it really took hold of my focus and attention, and, uh, and that's, what I, that's, what my, that's what my drive was. Did you have musical education? I did to some degree, but I could never apply it to my instrument. I had always kind of learned guitar from uh, just, you know, uh, picking up fake books and playing the songs and things like that. You know, uh, I never really understood the theory of it when it came to playing guitar. And then I took theory courses and got an understanding of it, but it was just too hard to apply to the instrument because I had so much. You know, I'd already learned it one way. It was just hard to relearn it um, with this new element. So, um, yeah. How is that now? How is your theoretical knowledge uh, when it comes to music? It's not very good, completely. On to be completely honest, I mean, I understand it. I understand some of the concepts, and when communicating with the other band members, I mean, it is, it's there, and it's it's a form of communication, a language, I guess. Um, but for the most part. Um, a lot of it is just kind of feeling and drive. It's, you know, I just, uh, yeah, I just, you know, whatever comes naturally. But do, 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 do you write stuff at home or do you, does do songs get together when they, you start jamming on, on ideas or how does it work? It's a, it's a little bit of everything. I mean, most of the time I usually just kind of write the tunes at home, a little skeleton of the, the song. So when I go into the rehearsal, I have something to present to everybody and then everybody can kind of come to the, to, you know, bring in their own kind of unique parts to the to the song. I mean, there's some other moments where uh, myself and Travis tend to collaborate. Um, you know, uh, but for the most part, it's it's kind of that that world. Do they analyze your your ideas uh, in some way, in, in theoretical way? Do they analyze your, your ideas? No, n not not really. Okay. But I have had people outside of the band come to me and and ask me about the theory behind some of the tunes and. Uh, for example, my, my wife's father is a, is, an, is a musician, and some of the compositions are actually intriguing to him, but we can never really fully communicate about it because I don't have a full understanding of, you know, of, of the theory. So, um, can you can, give an example of what he, what he, he likes or what he... Um, just, just trying to find the measure, like how to count the songs. Um, you know, sometimes a song that might be in 4-4, just kind of the way I play it and where the one lands can feel, can feel like, like it's not in that signature um, and thus can kind of confuse, can be a little confusing. I think if that, I, again, I, I don't really have a full understanding of the theory, so I don't, don't know if, I, if I'm even making any sense.